He turned into a giant spaghetti monster, a giant hamster wheel, and even a giant ball of yarn. <laughs> so I thought it would be a good idea to make a bot write an episode of the Owl House. Why? I don't know. But nevertheless, here we are, and I don't know what I was expecting, but it certainly wasn't this. Anyway, let's get started. Once upon a time, in the magical world of the Owl House, Luz had finally discovered the location of the Collector's hideout. The Collector, an evil being who sought to capture and collect magical creatures, had been terrorizing the land for far too long, and Luz had made it her mission to put an end to his nefarious deeds. With her trusty wand at hand and her friends by her side, Luz bravely entered the Collector's lair, but she was not prepared for the formidable foe that lay ahead. The Collector was a powerful sorcerer, and he had an army of twisted creatures at his command. Luz and her friends fought bravely against the Collector's minions, but they were vastly outnumbered. Just as all seemed lost, Luz remembered the powerful spell her mentor had taught her. With all her might, she unleashed the spell, and it hit the Collector with a powerful blast, sending him flying across the room. But the Collector was not defeated yet. With a roar of fury, he unleashed a powerful spell of his own, sending bolts of energy hurtling towards Luz and her friends. But Luz was quick on her feet, and she skillfully dodged each bolt with her wand. Finally, with one last burst of energy, Luz unleashed a powerful spell that hit the Collector square in the chest, defeating him once and for all. The lair shook as the twisted creatures fled in terror, and the magical creatures that the Collector had captured were freed. With a victorious smile on her face, Luz and her friends left the lair, knowing that they had saved the land from the clutches of evil. And from that day on, the Owl House was a safe place for all magical creatures to call home. The end. Yeah, that was actually pretty good. Thought it would be worse, but this is a proper story. And considering from what I've seen from the Season 3 episode for the future trailer, it seems to be somewhat correct. I still haven't seen it, please don't post any spoilers. But yeah, it seemed to accurately describe a lot what happened you know it had an army of twisted creatures um you know he had been terrorizing the land so yeah on to the next story once upon a time in the magical realm of the owl house there lived a peculiar owl named hootie hootie was unlike any other owl in the house as he had the ability to shapeshift into any form he desired okay <laughs> starting off strong one day Hootie decided to use his powers for mischief and began transforming into all sorts of strange creatures, much to the confusion and dismay of his fellow owls. He turned into a giant fly, a talking toaster, and even a tiny singing unicorn. What the shit is this? And who are these other fellow owls? I like to imagine that whenever there's nobody in the house, Hootie just invites like every single owl on the boiling aisles and they all just have a big party. <laughs> okay, this is stupid. As the days passed, Hootie's antics grew more and more bizarre. He turned into a giant spaghetti monster, a giant hamster wheel, and even a giant ball of yarn. The other owls in the house were at a loss for what to do with Hootie's wild behavior. <laughs> okay, don't, don't question it. Finally, the wise old owl of the house had had enough and decided to intervene. What, Ida? She cast a spell on Hootie, trapping him in the form of a small, fluffy kitten. Yeah, it's definitely Ida. Hootie was devastated by the turn of events, but soon realized the error of his ways and apologized to the other owls. From that day on, Hootie lived a quiet and peaceful life as a kitten, content to snooze in the warm sunbeams and chase after the occasional mouse. Okay, so basically what he was doing before he turned into a kitten. The other owls had learned an important lesson about the dangers of messing with magic, and all lived happily ever after. <laughs> the end. Okay, this is this is this is along the lines of what I was expecting. <laughs> what is this? He turned into a spaghetti monster, a hamster wheel and giant ball of yarn. What the 
<laughs> no, no human can come up with this. I also, I'm also pretty sure that the other howls are just a metaphor for Ida, King, and Luz, because like that makes the most sense. Anyway, on to the next one, I guess. So this time, I decided to be very simple and simply put, write an episode of the Owl House, and this is what came: title, The Lost Key. Opening shot of the Boiling Isles, a mysterious and fantastical place filled with magic and danger. Cut to a shot of a small, run-down cottage nestled in a clearing. This is the home of Luz Nocida, a teenage girl from the human world who has stumbled into the Boiling Isles and become embroiled in its magical politics. Luz is sitting at the kitchen table, surrounded by books and papers. She's trying to study for her witch's exam but she's clearly struggling. Her owl familiar, Hootie, is perched on the back of her chair, chirping sympathetically. Luz sighing. I can't do this, Hootie. I'm never gonna pass this exam. Hootie, chirping? I guess Hootie has like a sore throat or something. Hootie, chirp! <laughs> I'm sorry. Hootie. Luz, nodding. Yeah, you're right. I need to take a break. Luz stands up and stretches, then heads to the door. Luz, I'm gonna take a walk, clear my head. You coming, Hootie? Hootie. Luz steps outside and takes a deep breath of the fresh, magical air. She starts to walk through the woods, lost in thought. Suddenly, she notices something glinting in the underbrush. She bends down to investigate and discovers a small, intricately carved key. Luz, picking up the key. What's this? Hootie. Luz, looking at the key. I have no idea, but it's beautiful, and it feels important. Luz slips the key into her pocket and continues her walk. As she walks, she can't shake the feeling that the key is meant for something special. She starts to feel a sense of urgency, as if the key needs to be used as soon as possible. Luz to Hootie. We need to figure out what this key unlocks. Hootie. Luz, nodding. You're right. We'll ask Ida and King. Luz turns and starts to run back to her cottage. Cut to a shot of the cottage where Luz and Hootie burst in to find Ida, the witch who has taken Luz under her wing, and King, a demon with a love for chaos, sitting at the table. Luz, breathless. Ida, King, I found this key. I think it's important. Ida and King look at the key with interest, Ida narrowing her eyes. That key, it's ancient. It's set to unlock a powerful magical artifact. King, grinning. Ooh, an adventure! I'm in! Luz, excited. So, where do we start? Ida, thoughtful. The key is said to unlock a door in the ancient ruins of the Boiling Isles. But the ruins are dangerous and heavily guarded. We'll need to be careful. King, laughing. Careful is my middle name! Ida, rolling her eyes. Let's get going. Luz, Ida, King, and Hootie set off on their quest to find the door that the key unlocks, facing challenges and making new friends along the way. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's one way to <laughs> summarize every episode. <laughs> the episode concludes with the group successfully unlocking the door, revealing a powerful, magical artifact that had been hidden away for centuries. The artifact has the power to grant wishes and change the fate of the Boiling Isles. What, is this like the magic lamp that can grant three wishes or something? The group is faced with a difficult decision of what to do with the artifact, knowing that its power could be used for good or for evil. Luz, looking at the artifact, what are we going to do with this? Ida, thinking, we need to be careful. This power could change everything. King, grinning, we could make a wish and rule the boiling isles. Ida, shaking her head. No, King, we can't use this power for personal gain. Luz nodding. Ida's right, we need to use this power for the good of everyone. Ida smiling. Luz, you've grown so much since you first came to the Boiling Isles. Luz smiling. I've had a lot of help. Ida nodding. You have, and I'm proud of you. The group decides to use the artifact to bring peace and prosperity to the Boiling Isles, and in the process, they become known as the protectors of the artifact and the Guardians of the Realm? <laughs> the episode ends with Luz, Ida, King, and Hootie sitting around the table, enjoying a well-earned meal, happy and content 
with their new roles as protectors of the Boiling Isles. The End As this is a fictional story, there is no need to cite any sources. Hmm, that's a weird thing to put at the end of the episode. I wonder why they would put that there.